Hi and welcome to episode three of Digestive Mindfulness, um, this mini series. Today I am going to be sharing a gentle yoga flow with you guys. And this is a flow that's going to be gentle to the body, so if you are feeling pain or discomfort in the gut, then you can hopefully still come and do this flow. But we're going to be working in particular with connecting our breath to our mindful movement, so that we're creating this kind of moving meditation to really come into the body and away from the mind and just move with your breath. So this can be a really great way to kind of just step away from any worries, any pain, because hopefully the mind will be engaged with that movement and you can really kind of connect to your breath and body. So movement engages the mind and it stimulates interoception. And interoception is the perception of sensations within your body. So it's things like feeling like you need to go to the loo, as we all know, um, butterflies in the stomach, things that are kind of little signals from your body. So again, it's a really great way to connect to how you're feeling maybe, especially if you're the type of person that maybe kind of blanks it out and kind of just wants to get on with your day. It's a nice way to kind of focus inwards and really listen to what's going on. So we're going to start the practice with a breathwork technique, pranayama technique, which is known as Nadi Shodana. And we basically alternate the breath between the nostrils. So your nadis in yoga philosophy are channels, so energy channels within the body, and there are thousands upon thousands. But there are two main channels that run either side of the body, and we can actually relate those to our autonomic nervous system, so sympathetic and parasympathetic. So these nadis are called Ida and Pingala, and Ida is your parasympathetic, it's your female energy, it's the stillness, the cool, the quiet, and you can connect this to the moon. Whereas Ida is the sympathetic, so the fight and flight, it's your male energy, it's energy heat, and you can connect that to the sun. So totally opposites, and we can use this breathing to find a sense of balance within these two nadis. And we can also then try to find that balance within our autonomic nervous system. So again, it's a great way to kind of step away from your fight and flight to connect back to that sympathetic, uh, parasympathetic, your rest and digest. So we'll have a go. And again, if at any point you feel like this breath work is too much, you can gently return back to your natural breath. So just the gentle rhythm of your breath. So it's not for everybody, and it did take me quite a while to really feel the benefits of this pranayama. So have a go, and as I always say, come with an open mind and see how you feel after. So we'll do the breath work, and then we'll move straight into our flow. Okay, so Nadi Shalana breath work. So come to a place of comfort, either cross-legged position, or you could be kneeling. I'm sitting on a pillow, just lifts the hips and softens the knees. So especially if you're feeling any tension or pain through the lower abdomen, just find a place where you can kind of really start to relax. And you want to find that tall posture within the torso. So grounding down through both seat bones, just see if you can start to stack your vertebrae, one on top of the other, placing your heart over your pelvis and your head over your heart. And just think about the crown of the head lifting up. Shoulders relax down away from the ears and you can take your hands to your knees. So we'll take a few breaths just to connect to our natural rhythm, in through your nose and out through your nose. And just notice how the breath feels Notice where it's traveling. Just see if you can keep that breath flowing in your own natural rhythm. 
you can close down the eyes and maybe start to listen to what's happening in the body. So thinking about that interoception, just notice any signs from the body. Notice if there's any stiffness or tension in the body. And just working with this natural breath, just knowing that this natural rhythm will be here if at any point this breath work feels too much. Okay. So once you've taken a few rounds of your natural breath and started to quieten the mind and draw your attention inwards, we'll have a little play with our Nadi Shadana breath. So you can take your right hand and we're going to work with the thumb and the ring and little finger. So the index and the middle finger can be in two places. They can either be pressing to your third eye, your Anya Chakra. This is a place of foresight and clear thinking and directional thinking. If that feels quite a lot with the hand over the face, it sometimes makes me feel a little bit claustrophobic, you can place those fingers to the palm and then you can use the thumb and ring finger and little finger. So gently <clears throat> find what feels good for you and then we're going to still breathe in through both nostrils, in and out, in your own rhythm. Take a few rounds. Left hand can be gently on your knee. And what you want to do is starting on the right side, on an inhale, gently close the left nostril. And as you inhale, breathe in through that right nostril. Top of the inhale, close both nostrils, hold the breath. And as you exhale, open the left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Close both nostrils, hold. Exhale through right nostril. Inhale through right. Close and hold. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close and hold. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Close and hold. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close and hold. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Close and hold. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close and hold. Exhale through right. Inhale through right. Close and hold. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close and hold. Exhale through right. Last round here. Inhale through right. Close and hold. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Close and hold. Exhale through right. Good, releasing the hand. Breathe through both nostrils. Just in your own time, 
And just notice the energy. Notice if you feel a little bit clearer. Maybe a little bit more focused now that that energy, that prana can move freely through your nadis. Notice how the body feels. Maybe you've been able to come away from that fight and flight to be able to balance that autonomic nervous system. So just work with this breath. This equal inhale and exhale through the nose and we'll start to bring in some movement from here. Okay, so first things first, if you are feeling a little bit stiff in the legs from sitting cross-legged, then just take your hands gently behind you and cross the legs, plant the soles of the feet and just windscreen wipe the knees left to right, so just easing out of the hips. Good. And then we're going to come back to that cross-legged seat and start to work into the top half of the body. Okay, so finding that comfortable seat, remembering to ground down equally through both seat bones, stacking the spine, sitting up tall. So from here, we're going to take our left hand to the right knee. We're going to work with a twist. So as you inhale, draw the right fingertips forwards and up to the sky. As you exhale, reach them back and down, twisting from the waist. Inhale, reach the fingertips forwards and up. And exhale, twist from the waist, reach them back and down. Take a few rounds with your breath. See if you can really connect that inhale to the upward motion and the exhale to the back and down motion. One more round here, inhaling up and exhaling down. And then take the right fingertips down behind you. Sitting up tall, take a big inhale, crown of the head reaches high. And as you exhale, find a little bit more room to twist through the waist, twisting the chest over that right thigh. Take a few breaths here, just notice how the waist feels as you inhale, belly will expand. And as you exhale, the belly will draw back and down, creating a little bit more room to twist. Good, lovely. As you exhale, slowly unravel the chest and we'll take right hand to left knee. Same on this side. As you inhale, sweep the left fingertips forward and up. Exhale back and down. Inhale forwards and up. Exhale back and down. Take two more rounds with your breath. Big circles with this left shoulder. And on this last exhale, place the left fingertips down behind you. Use your inhale to sit up tall. And then use the exhale to twist a little bit further from the waist. Try not to clench round with the jaw. Try not to reach round with your chin. So see if you can keep your gaze parallel to your chest. So twists are really great for massaging out the internal organs. Really great for digestion. We always twist to the right and then to the left. So in the way the digestive tract moves. Good, lovely. As you exhale, slowly unravel. And then we'll inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, interlace the hands and take them behind the head, cradling the head in the hands. As you inhale, we'll start to draw the elbows back, lift the heart, big stretch through the front of the chest. And as you exhale, we'll round through the spine, draw the chin down to the heart. Inhale to lift, open the elbows, lift that heart space. And as you exhale, round through the spine. Good, take one more round with your inhale to lift. And use the exhale to close. Lovely. As you inhale this time, release the hands. And exhale the arms down. Good, we'll plant the right hand by the right hip 
And as you inhale, draw the left fingertips up overhead. So finding space through the left side of the body, the left ribs will expand on your inhale. And as you exhale, softening down, maybe bending further into this bottom elbow, drawing shoulder away from ear. And just notice if the left seat bone has lifted, can you draw it back and down to really lengthen through the left side of the body? Coming back to that long breath. Inhaling. And exhaling. From here, on your next exhale, gently start to turn your chest towards the mat, taking that top hand down. And from here, we'll slowly walk the fingertips round to the front to find a seated forward fold. So don't worry about how far the chest comes over the legs. Take the hands down to the earth and you can bend the elbows to gently soften the shoulders away from the ears, taking those deep breaths as we find some length through the spine. The chin can come down towards the chest to find some length through the back of the neck, all the way from the crown of the head down to your seat bones. So see if you can keep those seat bones grounded equally. As you inhale, we'll slowly walk the hands back to the knees, stacking the spine back to your seat. Now we'll take the left hand down beside the left hip and use your inhale to reach the right fingertips up and over. So working on the right side, finding that length through the right ribs. Again, see if you can really ground through the right seat bone. And as you inhale, really expand through those right ribs. Drawing bottom left shoulder away from the ear. With your exhale, maybe reaching a little bit further over to the left. Relaxing through the neck and jaw. Using those lovely long breaths. Keep that prana, that energy flowing. And on your exhale, take the top hand down towards the ground, twisting the chest to the mat. Slowly use your inhale to walk the hands round. And back to that forward fold. Take a moment to soften through the hips. And if they feel really tight, you can rock side to side. Soften through the shoulders and elbows. Great, and as you inhale, we'll slowly come back up, stacking one vertebrae on top of the other. Good, we're gonna uncross the legs, and again, windscreen wipe those knees left to right, just to ease out. You can place your fingertips behind you and maybe start to lift the heart, drawing shoulder blades towards each other, just finding a bit of space through your heart center. We're gonna come over to an all fours position from here. So if you're sitting on your cushion or pillow, then you can pop it to the side. And coming over to an all fours, you want to be stacking hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we'll continue a little bit of that cat and cow movement through the spine. So really spread your fingers. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. And as you inhale, start to lead with your tailbone, lifting the tail, drop the belly, and then lift your gaze. So this is your cow stretch, finding length through the whole front of the torso. Belly is soft. As you exhale, start to draw the tailbone down, rounding through the back, press the mat away. So finding space through the whole back of the body here, between the shoulder blades, through the spine. Inhale to come back to your cow, lifting the tail, dropping the belly. And exhale, press the mat away, rolling through the spine. So you can close your eyes here and just really connect the movement to the breath. You can move between this cat and cow as fast or as slow as you need. It's just really great for softening through the whole body, through the hips and the shoulders, the abdomen, the spine. Good, lovely. We'll take one more round. And after your cat stretch, come back to your tabletop. So think flat spine, crown of the head reaches forwards and the tailbone reaches back. 
You're gonna slowly dip the hips down towards the heels for a child's pose. So any discomfort to the belly, to the abdomen, then take your knees a little bit wider than your hips. So this will allow the belly to soften down between the thighs. And this is a really nurturing posture, it's super calming. You can allow your forehead to come down to the mat. If there's a little space, you can bend one elbow, placing one hand on top of the other as a pillow for the forehead. And just check in here, thinking about those signals from the body. With every inhale, breathing into the ribs, feel the ribs expand outwards. And with every exhale, allow the seat bones to soften down towards the heels. Allow the belly to relax. Take a few rounds. Good, and when you're ready, we can slowly come away from our child's pose, stretching the hands to the top of the mat. Pressing into the knees and the hands to come back to your tabletop. So if you took your knees wide, then draw them back in underneath your hips. And we're gonna to come to a thread the needle pose. So another twist, slightly different to our seated twist. So grounding through the left hand, as you inhale, start to draw the right fingertips up towards the sky. And finding that twisting motion from the waist, twisting your chest to the right. Good, finding space between those right fingertips and the bottom left hand. From here, as you exhale, we'll thread the right hand underneath the left arm. You can bring the right shoulder down to the ground. The right side of the head gently presses to the mat. And take a few breaths here. The left hand can stay underneath left shoulder. Or you can walk it to the top left corner of your mat. See if you can keep your hips level. And take a few breaths here. Finding that slight compression into the right shoulder head. And then if the left fingertips are at the top of the mat, gently walk them back underneath your shoulder and we'll press into left hand to lift us back up to our tabletop. Good, we'll take it to the other side. So grounding down through the right hand, as you inhale, start to peel the left hand off, reach left fingertips to the sky and finding that twisting motion from the waist. So again, see if you can lift out of your bottom shoulder, lifting those left fingertips high. Keep with your breath and as you exhale, thread the needle, threading that left hand underneath right arm. Left palm faces up and then you can lower the left shoulder, the left side of the head down. So staying with your breath here, notice how the breath changes the pose. You can keep the right hand where it is, or you can walk it to the top right corner of your mat. So see what feels good for you. Keeping the hips nice and level. Finding that slight compression into the bottom shoulder. And then when you're ready, you can walk the right hand back underneath the shoulder, pressing into the right palm to lift you back up. Good, from our tabletop, we're gonna tuck the toes underneath. Press into your hands and feet and start to lift the hips up towards the sky for your downward facing dog. So again here, just checking in with how the body feels. If your hamstrings feel tight, you can bend the knees as much as you need to. Relaxing the belly towards the thighs. And checking in with the neck, maybe shaking the head side to side, yes and no. We'll take a breath here, seeing if you can just find some space between your shoulder blades, so actively drawing the armpits in towards each other. Hips reaching high. And from here, as you inhale, slowly keeping the knees bent, we'll walk the feet up towards the hands. to find a forward fold. So knees bent, about feet hip width apart, soften the belly to the thighs and really let the back of the neck 
hang heavy. So looking back between your knees, you can slowly sway the weight side to side with your breath. You can take alternate elbows to really let the top half of the body hang over the legs. So a really calming inversion where the head is below the heart. Good. As you exhale, release the elbows. We'll plant the hands. And as you inhale, we'll step the right foot back to the bottom of the mat. And drop the back right knee down and untuck the toes. So we're going to come up to a low crescent lunge. So just notice if your, right, your left knee is reaching over the ankle. Can you keep it stacked over as a strong pathway of weight? As you inhale, use the breath to lift the fingertips up to the sky. Good, so softening into the hips here. If the hips feel tight, you can keep them over that back knee, pressing into the top of the back foot. If you are feeling a little bit more open in the hips, you can bend further into the front knee and soften the hips forward and down. Maybe pulsating between the two with your breath. Lifting the fingertips high, shoulders away from the ears. Good. And then as you exhale, slowly soften the fingertips back down to frame the front foot. Keep up on your fingertips, keep the heart space lifting. And as you exhale, we'll press into the front foot, walk the fingertips back towards your back knee. Maybe peeling those toes off the mat. For your half monkey pose, so squeezing the inner thighs together here. See if you can keep that heart space lifted. As you exhale, bend back into that front knee. Back to your low lunge. Lovely. Plant the hands. We'll come onto the back tiptoes, lift the back knee, and we'll slowly step that front foot back to your downward facing dog. And again, take a moment to check in with the hamstrings. If they're feeling a little bit tight, maybe walk your dog. You can draw one heel and then the other down towards the mat. So just pedaling out. Come back to the breath. Notice if you've been holding the breath. Allow it to flow freely. And then we'll slowly on our inhale, tiptoe the feet back up to the hands to find your forward fold. Feet under the hips, bend the knees, let the top half of the body hang over the legs. Again, maybe sway the weight side to side. And as you exhale, plant the hands. As you inhale, we'll step the left foot back to the bottom of the mat, dropping that left knee and tucking the left toes. And again, finding that alignment of front ankle underneath front knee. As you inhale, press into the top of the back foot. We'll sweep the fingertips up to the sky for your low crescent lunge. And again, if the hips feel a little bit tight here, especially the front of the hip in that hip flexor, you can stay stacked over the back knee. Or you can slowly use the breath, exhaling to soften the hips down. You can move between the two with your breath. So keeping that sense of that meditative movement, connecting breath to the movements. And then as you exhale, take the hands down to frame the front foot. Keeping up on the fingertips for space, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, start to press into the front foot, reach those fingertips back towards the back knee and maybe lifting those toes. So keep on the fingertips to lift the heart. You can draw that right hip back, squeeze the inner thighs together. Good, and as you exhale again, bend back into the front knee, walk the hands back. We'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and slowly step back to your downward facing dog. Good, lovely. From here, we'll gently drop our knees down to the mat, back to our tabletop, and we're going to come down to a seat. So slowly drop the hips to one side. 
And swiveling the legs around. I'm going to work with this breath to movement. So working with a forward fold here, not holding it to create any tension. If your hamstrings feel a little bit tight, you can bend the knees or you can sit back on your cushion to elevate the hips. So it just softens through the body a little bit. So when you're ready, as you inhale, we're going to sweep the fingertips high, lengthening through the whole spine. And as you exhale, we're going to dive forwards with those fingertips, reach as far as you can. And as you inhale, come back up. So we're just moving into that forward fold. Exhale, reaching forwards, hinging from the hips. And inhale, back up. Exhale forwards and inhale up. Take two more rounds with your breath. Again, you can always close down the eyes to really connect the breath to the movement. And then exhale the hands down by the sides. Good, we're going to come down to our backs. So you can bend the knees, slowly scooch the hips forwards, and then you can lower down. So coming all the way down, take a moment to allow the shoulders to soften down into the mat. You can keep your feet grounded and just gently sway the knees side to side. So just easing into your lower lumbar spine. Really nice little massage for the internal organs again. And keeping your left foot grounded, we're gonna use the inhale to slowly draw the right knee up to the chest. And you can take your hands either at the back of the thigh or the front of the shin, just gently drawing that knee further towards the chest. And again, you can connect this to your breath. So as you inhale, your belly will expand, pressing that knee away from you. And as you exhale, the belly will draw back and down, creating more room to draw that knee closer towards the chest. So take a few rounds with your breath, allowing the shoulders to melt down to the mat. And you can keep this left foot grounded, or you can always have a play at straightening the left leg and sending the foot to the bottom of the mat. Any discomfort to that hip flexor muscle or the abdomen, just bend the knee again. Good, lovely. When you're ready, if that left leg's straight, bend it again and we'll release the right foot back down to the mat. We'll take it to the other side. So using that inhale to draw the left knee to chest, placing the hands either on the back of the thigh or the front of the shin, we'll slowly start to draw the knee closer to the chest. So this slight compression of the thigh into the abdomen is a nice way to massage through the belly and the digestive system. And again, you can keep the right foot grounded or you can straighten the leg. Maybe finding a little bit more space in the hips. Using the breath here, keeping the breath flowing smoothly and quietly. Good. If the right leg's straight, bend the knee, and then we'll slowly use the inhale to draw the right knee up to left. And again, you can hug out front of the shins or back of the thighs, gently rock side to side, or maybe up and down the spine, just to relax through the back of the body. A really great uh, stretch for the lower back the spine. As you inhale, maybe draw the head and shoulders off the mat. Give yourself a huge big hug of appreciation and gratitude for trying this flow today. And on your exhale, you can slowly release the head down to the mat, release the knees and soften the feet down to the ground. We're going to come to our Shavasana, our relaxation. So you can keep the feet grounded with the knees gently knocking in as a place of comfort for the lower back and for the abdomen. It's quite nice to relax. 
If you want to take full shavasana, traditional shavasana, you can straighten one leg and then the other to the bottom of the mat. So again, listening to those signals from inside of your body, what do you need in this last few moments of your practice to be able to completely relax? You can either keep the hands to the belly to stay connected to that breath, stay connected to those signals. Or you can take the hands down by the hips, palms face up. And wherever you come to, close down the eyes. And just gently connect back to your natural breath. So no need to hold it or control it in any way. Just allow the breath to flow in its own way. Waving up and down your body. And with every exhale, just send it to any place in the body where you might still be holding on to any tension. So just checking all the way down from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Is there anywhere else that you can start to let go, just surrendering down to the earth? The shoulders heavy, the back of the head heavy. Just checking the muscles in the face. Can you relax with the jaw? Let the tongue hang heavy in the mouth. And the muscles around the eyes and the forehead. Just soften. Taking these last few moments in our practice to be present for ourselves. So if you notice that as we lie here, your mind is starting to whirl and move away from your practice, then don't judge yourself. And just slowly draw your awareness back into your body, seeing if you can stay with yourself, staying with your breath. And staying with that sense of interoception, so just listening in. Maybe asking yourself, how do I feel? Is there anywhere else that I can let go? And staying completely melted down into the earth. Stay exactly as you are. But just start to slowly deepen your breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. And when you're ready to come back to your physical body, you can slowly draw some movement in. Maybe gently rocking the head side to side or rolling out through your wrists and ankles. Maybe you need some larger movements. You could reach the hands up overhead for a full body stretch. Or you could slowly draw the knees back up to the chest. And in your own time, when you've started to come back to your body, you can roll to one side. It doesn't matter which side. Taking a moment there and then from that position you can gently make your way back up to a comfortable seat. And keeping the eyes closed or the gaze heavy. We'll take the hands down to the knees just to connect back. Connect back to your physical body. And just take a moment to acknowledge this practice, just to acknowledge how you feel in your body and your mind. And we'll think of one thing that we're grateful for in our lives. Think of one thing that you like about yourself. And think of one thing that you've gained from this practice. 
And with those three things in mind, we'll take the palms together at the heart center. And I invite you to bow forwards to seal your practice. Thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope that you enjoyed the movement and I hope that it allowed you to just come away from the mind, come into the body and just relax and hopefully release some tension. Any comments or questions, please let me know and I will see you again here tomorrow for another mindful practice.